On April 11, 2022, a swarm of earthquakes began underneath a prominent Mount Edgecombe stratovolcano in far eastern Alaska. This earthquake swarm began at 2 a.m. local time and went on to produce several hundred earthquakes over the next several days and is still continuing at the present. Although earthquakes are quite common at volcanoes within Alaska, the context of Mount Edgecombe makes their sudden appearance be a bit worrying. You see, Mount Edgecombe falls under a group of volcanoes which lie dormant on the order of hundreds to thousands of years, only to suddenly reawaken and produce a truly catastrophic eruption comparable in size to the 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens. Other volcanoes in this group include El Chichan in Mexico, Mount Parker in the Philippines, and Apoyeque in Nicaragua. During long stretches of dormancy between major eruptions, these volcanoes display next to zero levels of volcanic unrest. Thus, the appearance of any form of seismic activity, if confirmed to be volcanic in origin, falls within a waking up cycle which lasts anywhere from several weeks to several years. In other words, if Alaskan scientists witnessed a similar series of earthquakes underneath other volcanoes such as Mount Redoubt or the Fisher Caldera, it would not be a cause for concern as these peaks have a history of frequent earthquake swarms and erupt quite frequently. Mount Edgecombe, on the other hand, does not have a history of earthquake swarms, and retrospective analysis revealed that this volcano only began to produce small earthquakes in 2020. The ongoing quake swarm represents the highest seismic unrest recorded since sensors were emplaced on the volcano and could theoretically signal a new eventual eruptive period which would begin sometime in the next decade. For context, Mount Edgecombe is located in far eastern Alaska where it is 15 miles west of the city of Sitka and covers the southern half of Kruzov Island consisting of an area of approximately 100 square miles. This volcano is located adjacent to the major Queen Charlotte Fairweather Fault where its vents are primarily situated on an apparent fissure which trends perpendicular to it. Over 600,000 years, this fissure has produced lava domes, cinder cones, volcanic explosion craters, two stratovolcanoes, and a large caldera. While these vents have been active at varying times throughout the lifespan of the overall volcanic complex, recent eruptions have been confined to the crater ridge caldera and the summit of Mount Edgecombe. These occurred via powerful explosive eruptions 11,250, 9,000, 5,760, and 4,310 years ago, the latter of which represents Edgecombe's last known eruption. The largest of these eruptions, 11,250 years ago, ejected 7 cubic kilometers of volcanic rock, causing 3 feet of ash to fall on what is now the town of Sitka, and up to 98 feet thick closer to the eruption site. The ongoing earthquake swarm is centered around and to the northeast of Crater Ridge, which is a worrying sign as the quakes have an apparent northeast trend that matches what an expected magmatic intrusion would look like. With this being said, we are still unsure of what is causing these earthquakes as Mount Edgecombe is not heavily monitored and does not have sufficient equipment on it to determine the origin of these quakes. This insufficient monitoring is why Mount Edgecombe is given a white alert level, roughly translating to unassigned AK not sufficiently monitored to give it a proper designation such as green, yellow, or red. The ongoing earthquakes have a potentially magmatic signature to them as they are seemingly too numerous to have all originated from small fault lines in the area. I use satellite data to check for uplift indicating the intrusion of magma, but sadly the latest dataset only included data until April 8th before the earthquake swarm began. Although these earthquakes are concerning, by far the most likely outcome is that they will decline over time before completely stopping, thus not resulting in any form of eruption. However, this activity is truly unusual, so only time will tell what will happen next. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new patron Futurismo for supporting this channel.